Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're headed up to Ashland in search of trophy smallmouth bass. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, Holy Jesus. Oh my God. It's a huge fish. It's a huge fish. This is amazing. Who do you got? Oh my God. Yes, folks, on Chiquamagon Bay in Ashland, Wisconsin. And I'll tell you what, this is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. A lot of nice fish out here. And the deal is that they started a program here, it's got to be 20 some years ago, where a legal fish has to be how long? 22 inches. 22 inches. Yep. And, you know, we've caught a few of those yeah, over the have. years, but that means that your average size fish is going to be pretty big. Yeah, exactly. I mean, our average out here is a lot of times 18 to 19 inches, sometimes even 20. There's a lot of big fish out here. Well, Blake loves fishing up here, and we got a special guest, Dan Peterson from Amsoil is with us. Promise me we'll catch some fish. Oh, we'll catch a lot of fish. All right, hey folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. The lure lock tackle box system is the best way to organize your bait. Hey, you gotta check this out, Blake. You know, crankbaits are really expensive. With lure lock, they stay in place all the time. The paint doesn't chip, my hooks stay sharp. This is really the way to go. For more information, go to lurelock.com. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection with an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings. Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose-built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next-level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Welcome back, folks. Chasing trophy smallmouth bass on Chiquamagon Bay in Ashland. And, and Josh, when the fish are shallow like this, I mean six feet or less, you can use pretty much anything. I love a wacko worm. You yeah, know? it's tough to beat a wacko worm. I mean, they're shallow. That slow fall really gets them to bite. Okay, and you're going to start out with a Google Eye jig yep. and a jerk minnow, huh? Yep jerk minnow quarter ounce google eye jig and a lot of times that'll really get them to bite aggressively you know and kind of get a reaction strike out of them josh arini what was that your second cast buddy? yeah second cast john okay on the now, google Dan, eye. you're gonna have to grab that net for him there buddy is it a good fish josh it feels really good all right buddy look at that rod bending man dude. yeah this is a that's cool this is a heavy fish john don't i don't even have the net ready i don't think this is a bass oh really bigger than that oh whatever i just saw it it's huge john whatever it is it's okay. not a bass i think it's a giant pike all right here he comes oh it's a big sturgeon Ooh, a big sturgeon. Huge sturgeon it's a giant sturgeon for the first fish of the day there josh tigan unreal i i don't think we're gonna be able to get him in the net well we're gonna try well i i don't know if that'll be a good idea well, we turned the camera off for a couple of minutes. Yeah, he's still, he's still battling fighting. that thing. Yeah, and he has to grab it by the tail, right? Yeah, it'll never fit in the net, and nope. then we'll let it go right away. We're close. Get him, Dan, get him, Dan. Okay, Dan, okay, Dan. Can you grab him, Dan? You got him? Got him? He's got him. Josh, you All gotta right. grab him, get the hook right, out let's of his get mouth. Him in. Ready? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Holy cow, look at that fish. 
Hey, turn around there, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. He hit that Google Eye jig, too. Yeah, it's he? actually in the mouth. I, I doubt he actually grabbed it. We probably just got lucky and hooked him in the mouth. But that, Is that uncommon? That's very uncommon for in here. Finally, Josh. All right. And I've been switching colors on my jerk minnows. Oh, yeah? And uh, this water's kind of murky from all the rain that they've had up here, folks. So I went to a chartreuse. I don't know if this is a bass or a walleye. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty right there, Josh. Oh, yeah, hold him up, Josh, when we get him in here, buddy. Yep. There we go. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, hold him awesome. up right there, Josh. Yep. That's actually a real nice fish. Now, that's pushing three and a half, right? Yeah. Well, that's three and a half for sure, John. That's a good one. That's what we're after there. Now, I switched to that chartreuse jerk minnow, and you say that's been a real good color up here in this murky water? It has. They like that chartreuse. You know, it's a little brighter. They can see it better. <laughs> Blake Gale's fish! <laughs> Does this one feel a little bit better? Yeah, it did. I mean, it really Ooh, it. that's a nice bass. Nice oh, Blake. Oh, Why wow. does this happen <laughs> every time? Well, everybody loses one once in a while. That was the next cast after mine, wasn't it? Yeah, and I missed the one before, so hopefully I get this guy in. Well, let's see. You're, you're using that Kalen's Grub, Another which is a one. great bass bait. And don't forget the Google Eye Jig. They really like that glass rattle. Okay, here he comes. Okay, Josh. A little bit more, sweetie. A little bit more. Oh, boy. Nice. There you go. That's a big That one, is a big smallmouth bass there, Yay. Blake. Yeah. Holy oh, cow. Nice. Look at that. And you know, what, what is the deal with the Google Eye jig? It has that glass rattle in there and it makes that, you know, that noise that really attracts the fish. And this grub just covers so much water. That grub, I'll tell you what, last week, Josh, we were fishing a largemouth bass and, and exploring little lakes. Yeah. That grub, we only had one of them in the rowboat. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the one that was catching fish. Wow. That's a beautiful bass. That is like. nice. And that was like, I was doing it right off that bottom. Hey, Dan, from Amzal, you're dressed like it's the middle of winter there, buddy. <laughs> And you got a fish on, Doyle. Oh, we got a nice bass here. Nice fish. All right. Oh, he's got the secret bait out there, Josh. Yes, what he does. That? That's the Livingston Jerk Master there. Well, you know, Pete Main has been put on the clinic this spring with those baits, Josh. Yep. Is it that sound that makes them go so good, you think? They definitely like it, especially when you, you know, pause it and that thing's making noise. It, it gets them to hit it, that's for sure. Now, is that an average size there, Josh? No, that's a little smaller than average. That's probably 16 inches there. We'll get bigger ones. There we go, our buddy Pete Mena and Lenny Group. Oh, that's a walleye that bait. A Walter. Nicely done there, buddy. Yeah. And that was again, well, I did not even ask what that was on. I haven't been throwing much else this year. <laughs> no. But that white color in this murky water, uh, you think that might be the ticket, go lighter? Yeah, I really do. Especially with the sun being out, John. You know, I'd, and again, I talk about it before long pauses, but that, that helps in the murky water, and, and obviously the sound becomes even more of a factor. So. That's a beautiful yeah. walleye. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice I could have eaten that. You could have, but it's gone. That one hit it right at the bowl. Ooh. Oh, it's a big smolly, oh, big smolly. Yeah. And I'll tell you, you know, we moved to another spot, and this is murky water. Yes. And uh, this is where that sound and that bait, I think, helps you a lot. Ooh, yeah. That is a beauty, Josh. Yep. That's that amazing. is a gorgeous bass. Awesome. Oh, man, popped right it, it out. just Perfect. came off. That but you know, we were talking before about Thank the noise you. with that. Yep. And this slough back here right now is pretty muddy for this time of year. Yeah, and it's very muddy. You think, you know, they, they see that bait flash, come up to it, you pause it, and it makes that noise, right? Yep, they love that noise. You know, they can come from a long ways and hear that. And uh, like you said, I mean, we only got maybe a half a foot of visibility. I mean, this thing hit it right at the boat, and I had no idea what it was until it broke the water. Yeah, so. we just moved into this spot. And, you know, we fished this last last year this area yep. and there was actually pike walleye and bass in this area. yeah you never know what you're gonna hook in here so this is this is good we got a walleye and a bass now so that's a beautiful fish explain what we're doing here josh now we got a you, you put a minnow out just for the heck of it yeah huh? the fishing's been a little slow so I like throw minnow so when i tell you just set pretty Mind good everybody's way here three a little bit set 
Yep, you got yeah, it. There you go. Nice. Blake Blakeroonie. <laughs> All right. That was my third try. Okay, well, you know, they, it is amazing, though, because we've had a slow Ooh. period here. Oh, that's yeah. a pretty nice fish. Who's wow. that? My eater. Oh, there we go. Looks and, fat. <laughs> and there. Oh, that is a nice bass, nice. Josh. You know, but that's the nice thing that you do for your clients, too, is a lot of times you'll cast uh, artificial baits and, and run a sucker out the back for the folks to catch fish. Yeah, if it's a tough bite, you know, I do have live bait usually with, so we'll, we'll throw it out if we need to. And, you know, it's been a little slow, so we decided to throw it out. It didn't take long. Good hook set there, Blake. Thank you. It was that my was third perfect. try. No, but I mean, we've had that out there five minutes. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, the last hour's fishing's been tough. It has been. But always put that minnow on, and she seems to work. Yep. You're just enjoying this minnow deal, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I am. No, it is a fun way to fish. I love bobber fishing. Do you hit it right away? Or oh, what? yeah, they attack it. Okay. All right, let's see what you got. Here he comes. And nice. we have another beautiful bass. Now, this is uh, this is something that's really interesting, Josh, because I've been up with you in the you know the dead of August, and 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 you just catch 50 a day like that, don't you? Yep. Oh yeah. A lot of times, just like that, we'll lindy rig them near the bottom, or we'll float them on a bobber back there. But so you're watching the bobber. What happens? It just kerplunks into the water. <laughs> no, and then and then you set right away. You don't have yep. to give them any time. No, they eat it, and you don't want them to swallow it. You yeah. want to set right away. Right. Oh, you got something on now, Dan. We're using minnows in the back, and you're using what? <laughs> what do you got on, Dan? I put a wacky rig on, John. Oh, Ooh, nice fish, wacky too. Wacky rig. There we go. Boy, that is another All beautiful right. small to go. One. That is a real nice fish there, Dan. You know that, buddy? It's chunky, yeah, that's a nice. Look at that. Nice one. You know, they just... <laughs> weren't hitting anything fast. But you hit that wacky rig right away. Oh, really? Not too bad that a fish, was your yeah. first cast with a Yeah, wacko? just kind of hanging there, yeah. We were fishing Lake Superior out of Ashland, Wisconsin. A five and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, six and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. From fishing and hunting to grilling and gardening, Fleet Farm has what dads want for Father's Day. Whether it's fresh fish isn't bought, it's caught season, or it runs in the family season. Fleet Farm has special Father's Day pricing on things like a Smoke Chef wood pellet grill, $279.99. Add a DeWalt Max Drill and Impact Driver Combo Kit, $70 off our low fleet price. There's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Fleet Farm, built for real life. The middle of May to the middle of June is absolutely the best time to catch all species of fish in the upper Midwest. We have a very special updated AMSOIL fishing report that has just been released. Hear from the top guides about their best tactics for late spring and early summer. Check out the AMSOIL video fishing report at amsoil.com MFR. Folks, I switched to Evinrude three years ago, and boy, am I glad I did. Listen to this. My E-Tech G2, with all its incredible power, still gives me the best fuel efficiency in the industry. And this engine is so easy to own. There's no scheduled maintenance for five years. You never have to change the oil, and all of that is backed by five-year, 500-hour transferable coverage. And you know what? My E-Tech G2 really looks cool, too. Evinrude built right here in Wisconsin. For a dealer near you, go to evanrude.com. That, that thing almost pulled the rod out of the boat, didn't it, Blake? Yeah, you were bored, so you were going to do some jigging, and then... There yeah, reel, reel this one in, will you? Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I was actually casting a wacko worm. You scared me. Ooh, this one's cracking pretty good. Does it feel good? Yeah, this one does feel pretty good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Josh. Get him, buddy. Uh, there it is, a big, a big brute. brute. Now, that is what you come to Chiquamagon Bay for, isn't it? Josh? Yeah, that's a nice one. Was that five, buddy? No, it might be. Four it's close. I'd say it's four, four and a half. No, I, I was <laughs> casting the wacko worm, and you know, like we just showed before, you were moving up over into a little shallow of water. Yep. I had that bobber set at three feet, yeah. and that bobber went down, and my rod almost went out of the boat. <laughs> I can't believe he caught it in time. No, that is, that is something, though, you know.
know, and it, to, to bring those minnows along is a real good idea, and I'll tell yeah. you what, it's fun. Oh, it is. It's a blast. I mean, you're catching fish, and when it's slow, you need them. I, I'm <laughs> waiting for a, for a minnow, and Blake's got one on now. I Holy moly. I actually waited to set the hook on that one. Is nice. this a good one? I don't know, but. It's... Oh, yeah, nice one. Oh, that's Ooh. another dandy. Oh, it's this slava. is another Slavosaurus. Look at the size of that one. Oh, my lordy. Nice. That is a big fish, folks. Yeah, Brian, the photographer, just said to Josh, what did he just say? He goes, why did you bring out the minnows on? earlier <laughs> <laughs> which makes sense but no these are gorgeous fish and you say they have not gone up and done their spawning yet, no huh? no the water temps well even right now it's 56 so it'll be maybe another four or five days <laughs> well this is about as simple as it gets folks you just got a little like an eight ounce jig head there yep. and hooked the little sucker right through the mouth and i got that three feet below a bobber and again we moved over to the shallow side here so as you're moving the boat and casting we're just dragging a sucker yeah bags. you're covering a lot of water yep what a fun way to do it you know oh it's a blast when you've cast it all day like that yeah it's... and clients gotta love it oh they do love it yeah well i do too oh man i was out there for <laughs> one second and i i put that minnow back there josh and he just smoked it oh man i'll tell you these jason mitchell seven foot rods are my favorite too to play these fish oh they are whoa taking drag there josh Aru. nice taking fish some drag whoa Josh, oh, this is a tank. Is it? This is a tank. Oh, yeah, nice. This fish. is a tank. Stay away from the motor. Stay away from the motor. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a big fish, guys. It's fun on that light action rod. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, boy. Nice. Another nice That's one. A, the average size, Josh, is mind boggling. I mean, these are just all big fish. Yeah, they are. Look at that one. I was out there for 30 seconds, <laughs> you know? Yep. I casted it out. What's your biggest this year, by the way? Uh, our biggest this year is five pounds, eight ounces. Okay, and that's a good, that's about four even, maybe? Yeah, that one's probably four. Blake, you got me a Johnsonville sizzling sausage grill for Father's Day. It cooks Johnsonville's perfectly in 12 minutes. I did, and happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you. And guess what? The active offer for Father's Day is with the purchase of the Johnsonville sizzling sausage grill, you get a free Johnsonville sizzling sausage grill cookbook and a free package of Johnsonville brats. And all you got to do is go to sizzlingsausagegrill.com. These are amazing. Can you cook them on the grill? No, I cooked them on my Johnsonville sizzling sausage grill. Get one for your dad for Father's Day. I think I will. Two lucky winners can win a Johnsonville sizzling sausage grill and a bunch of Johnsonville brats. To enter is simple. Just go to facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing and please like and share our page. Oh, Dan, I'm catching them on the minnows and Dan's catching them on the wackos. Wacky rig. Does that feel Wacky like worm. a good one, Dan? Yeah, it's a decent one. Well, the last several fish we've caught have been really nice. Mm -hmm. He hit a, a long ways out. And you're not hardly moving that wacko, huh? No, it's just a, a wacky rig. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I'll tell you, they see that boat, they don't like it. They don't like that net either, right? No, there's oh, nice a nice fish. Oh, there we go. Yeah. He's a fatty. And Dan, yeah. you're barely moving that, Dan? Oh, it's just hanging on the bottom, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah that's a beauty. Nice one. Yeah, they just aren't ready to go after anything. Well, I, you know, the other day, Josh, when you were out here with clients, how many did you guys catch? We had one day, we had 120, and that was by 11 a.m. Yeah, and that's about five hours of fishing? That was, no, it was a little longer. We started at 5 a.m., so. <laughs> I'm fishing with two rods here. I got one out with a wacko. Oh, man. I no, I was to... talking before, Josh, about these Jason Mitchell rods. Yep. I buy the, the seven-footer medium light, and yep. it works great for both smallmouth and walleye. You know, it's kind of an all-purpose rod. Yep. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. I use the same rods. They're great. They're yeah, the they really best are. rod I've used, actually. Yes, I would absolutely agree. Ooh, here he comes. Nice fish. Oh, that's another tank. Yep. Look at that, Josh. All right, way to go. No, but I, I always like to, to to recommend to folks at home to buy a rod that's a good multi-species rod, and that's what I love about this. It's walleye, bass, anything you want. Yeah, to everything. And the seven footer is the best length, you think? That's my favorite. Yeah. 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 It seems like it's the perfect length. It's fishing days at Fleet Farm in Delavan, Wisconsin. That's next Saturday, June 8th from 10 to 2. Come talk fishing with Blake and I. That's next week, Saturday, June 8th, 10 to 2. Today, we're checking out two new products, the Blackfish Aspire Rain Gear and the AquaJet Washdown by Johnson Pump. No, no, not me. 
<laughs> this thing is powerful. This is fun. The AquaJet washdown by Johnson Pump provides the highest PSI in the industry. There's more than enough pressure to clean up what's left after a long day of fishing. Johnson Pump AquaJet Pump Kits, the most efficient and most powerful boat washdown kits available. And the Blackfish Aspire rain gear kept me totally dry too. For more information on the AquaJet washdown, go to sbxflow.com. The Lure Lock Tackle Box system is the best way to keep your baits in great shape. You know, this system is really awesome, Blake. You never want dull hooks on your crankbaits when you're fishing. With the TackleLogic technology, your baits stay in shape and your hooks stay really sharp so you won't miss that big one on your next fishing trip. Get locked down with the Lure Lock Tackle Box. For more information, go to LureLock.com. Folks, when I head out to fish, I always stock up on my favorite Baitmate fish attractants. Dale, I just put that Baitmate on, man. Baitmate offers a complete line of fish attractants and convenient spray bottles for every angler and every species of fish. They've got your bait covered. I also have the newest Baitmate delivery system in my boat, Baitmate Ultra Live Game Fish Dip. Improve your chances of catching fish with Baitmate fish attractants. It just makes sense. lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork, just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. Hit him. Oh, ho, ho. he took it. Oh, I might have one. Here, let me give you another middle quick. He'll... Oh, 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 he did oh, oh, nicely done there, Blake Rooney. Oh, <laughs> what happened there? I thought I missed him twice. <laughs> Ryan saw Ooh, the whole thing. Big fish, big fish. Yeah, this is another gorgeous, gorgeous fish. I can't believe the size of these things. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, oh, I right. want to hold that one. Nice. I mean, guys and gals, I mean, this is <laughs> this is some of the best smallmouth fishing you'll ever see, isn't it, Josh? Yeah, this is good. Wow, that's, that's a, a nice fish. That, Way to go. that is big. And that one actually hit twice. Well, I, you know, they're it's so funny because they're not that aggressive on the lures. No, and I, yeah, I was asking that question, why aren't they hitting the plastics? But hey, Who they cares? want what we want, right? I mean, yeah, it's kind of a relaxing way to fish, sitting yeah. in the back of the recon. John, John, and, John, John, John. Oh. Josh, get him, Josh. We got another one going. Got him. Hey, Josh, two at a time, two at a time. Oh, and Ryan, the photographer, was getting rather impatient with you. And I told him, you know, just relax, you know. Wait for one second there, Blake. I'll net Josh's fish for him here. Oh, that's another. Oh, look at that guy. All right. You guys got to hold those two giants up together there, buddy. Blake's got me beat on size, though. No, but I mean, that's phenomenal. I mean, we've caught most of these fish in the last half hour. Yeah, we really have. This Why? is unreal. No, I mean, really beautiful, beautiful bass of Rudy's. No, but everybody likes to see you two together on camera. You know, they always think you're dating, but you're not, right? No, right. Okay. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2019 Fishing Contest. Jerry Zirk of Hayward iced this 17-inch crappie on Spider Lake on a tip-up. Earl Basin of Woodstock, Illinois, caught this 35-inch brown trout on Lake Michigan on a zip lure. Jeff Hines of Fond du Lac caught this 55-inch muskie on the Bay of Green Bay on a flicker chad. 
Luann McFadden of Rock Falls, Illinois, caught this 24-inch bass on the big slough on a rubber lizard. And this week's kids' winners are Zoe Cadets of Red Granite caught this 37-inch northern on Lake Poygan on a shiner. And Jacob Mantefell of Fergus Falls, Minnesota, caught this 20-inch bass on Norway Lake on a spoon. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. Berkeley Flickersh ad crane baits are on sale with an awesome price of only $3.99. And the new Angle Live Bait Cooler is on sale for only $42.99. Now those are some hot buys. No! Hey, oh. Mr. Wacko up there. He loves those Kalen's Wackos, doesn't he? He does. He's on fire. I mean, we're on fire back here on the Meadows, but he just keeps catching them on the old Kalen's Wacko. Right, Dan? Right. All you got to do is let it sit right on the bottom and you catch fish. You got her down. There it is. There we go. There it is. Nice. Oh, yeah. Jeez, another nice like fish Another there. nice one. Hey, yeah. Josh, while yeah. I got a second, yeah. I want to talk a little bit about the River Rockin' Inn. It's probably one of the greatest motels his the way he's got those decorated with natural wood and everything yep. what they're really a, a, a great place to stay oh it's gorgeous rooms yeah he and he takes real good care of them and you know it's right at the bait shop so a lot of times with clients i just pick them up there in the morning it works That's great and i want to mention yeah, too uh, that you know the ashland chamber of commerce has really gotten involved in promoting fishing up yes. in this area and and folks can get a free pamphlet yeah, they have a brochure. It's got a map of Shawamigan Bay. It's got all the hot spots on there. It's got where you can launch. It has different knots you can tie, all the information you're ever going to need. And uh, it's just a little brochure, and all you got to do is call the chamber, and they'll send you one. Josh Tigan guides Shawamigan Bay on a year-round basis. For more information, give Josh a call. That phone number is 715-813-0575. Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Kalen's has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can you? Oh, to our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. I was trying to fish two rods again, folks. It's impossible. Somebody's got to reel this up one in down here. I'm sorry. I just had a bite on the wacko worm, too, Josh. Well, I think we could stay out here all night and catch fish, but I think this is going to end our day, if you don't mind, buddy. Oh, that's fine with me. Oh, oh look at that as a big chunker to end our day. This is wow. a Slavosaurus, guys. This is a big butt fish. Is that a five? Wow. Yeah, that's, that's a five. Uh, that's a five pounder. Well, that's why we always stay to the last minute. But uh, I want to remind the folks that we started fishing today. Uh, I guess it was about 1.30, 1.15, yeah. yep. and it's not dark yet. So, I mean, we've just caught a ton of fish, and the last two hours have been magical. Oh, they've been great. They've really turned on. That's a five-pounder? That's If it's not, it's high fours. Boy, yeah. Look at the back on that but thing. That's like, how you can tell. This has been fun, hasn't it? It's been amazing. Yep, I agree. And, folks, that is our show for today, right? Right. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish at. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's waters and woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie, this is me, this is everything tough, yeah, dee 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 dee.